Where is Wendy Williams? That's the name of a new Lifetime two-part documentary coming at the end of February. A lot of people have been asking for an update on Wendy Williams, and the last update that we gave you was from radio personality Miss Jones, who went to her New York City penthouse and discovered that she had moved months ago, moved down to Florida to be with her family. Okay, so yesterday, Wayne made me go and visit Wendy Williams. <laughs> I made you go. Y'all all, everybody was in on it. You know, it. I saw the dick because I kept saying, did you go, did you go, did you go? And I kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. Yeah. So I pull up, first I pulled up to the wrong building. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a minute. I know. Yeah. I, like, and I had to walk, but it was okay. And so I get there, I go inside, the door people greet me and all that. And I said, this might be a shot in the dark, sir, but I'm here to visit Wendy. And he shakes his head and he goes, you're a couple of months late. Wow. She moved. Hmm. And I said, oh, And he goes, yeah, that's all I can tell you. So, you know, I start prying. I'm like, well, did they sell the unit? Is it on the market? Because this was a fabulous duplex. Mm -hmm. And the building she was living in, which now nah, I can tell you guys, it was supposed to be a hotel originally. Mm -hmm. And then COVID hit and they couldn't, obviously, no one was supposed to be in a hotel. So they sold it. And she told me how much she paid for it. And she, I was like, that was such a steal. It was beautiful. Two floor, three bedroom unit. So I thank you, sir. And then I go and I look for the the other people that, you know, live in the building, right. work in the building. Start and sleuthing. I, yep. <laughs> and I got my sleuth on. And they said, well, you know what happened? She was getting better. She was coming around. And then she started getting sick again. Mm. And because her family's in Florida. Right. And people were coming in her circle that they weren't familiar with. And they didn't know, like, you know, they mm -hmm. couldn't get access to her when they wanted. Mm -hmm. They moved her down to Florida. So she is allegedly down in Florida with her son recuperating. Okay. Yeah. Well, we wish her. We do the wish best. her well. Yeah. But if you've been following any of the stories that we've covered here in the channel, we've told you that Wendy Williams and her then team had been doing some sort of reality docu-series that would come to light at some point. Well, the timing of this is very interesting. Lifetime has announced that they will be releasing this documentary, as I said, at the end of the month. And they've released a very emotional, shocking, and heartbreaking trailer for a documentary called Where is Wendy Williams? Welcome back to the Kempire Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. As always, don't forget you can also listen to special episodes and our live recaps on the Kempire Podcast. As you know, we've been following and documenting the rise and fall of radio personality turned daytime talk show host, Wendy Williams. The last video that we did, as we mentioned before, was on Wendy possibly moving to be with her family to Florida. Well, last night, Lifetime dropped this trailer for the Wendy Williams documentary called Where is Wendy Williams? Oh my God, no, I can't do this. I can't do this. I have to sit down again. She was put in front of a judge and given a guardian. That was when they took her away from us. I have no money. And I'm going to tell you something. If it happens to me, it could happen to you. As her family, we were all sitting on the sidelines watching. And she was crying out for help. Did you drink this whole thing today? Keep it there. Okay. Keep it there. My mom, she always talks about how she wants to work. But I feel as though she's worked enough. She has people around who are yes people and allowing this to continue. This is all too much. Go! Bye! I have no idea where we are. This doesn't look like anything familiar. I think she's losing memory. Have you guys noticed that? How dare him? I control me. I wait one thirty. Anybody could look at her and tell this is not just alcohol. There's something more going on. My family. I'll be here. Please be here. No matter how many times somebody may fall down, you gotta lift them back up. We all make choices in life. We all go through our challenges. She's still a person. 
How you doing? That's my sister. There have been random people around you. Stealing money from me. Getting money, whatever the case may be. Enough. Can you tell me where your sister is? No, I don't know the exact location of where she is. I feel like the Guardian has not done a good job of protecting my mom. My life. My life. <laughs> right now, she's weak and vulnerable. And she needs to be around people who aren't going to take advantage of that. I have no friends. You know how many people come out to support you? You know how many people love you? No, I don't. Everything is going to be good. I know. I think that the guardianship system is broken. We are her family. And you tell me that I'm not capable of taking care of my sister. What would you do? What should I do? I love being famous. But family is everything. So good to see you again, Dad. It's good to see you, baby. Everything. So the son who's been following the Wendy Williams saga for the last couple of years writes this about the trailer. They said Wendy, who's 59 years old, appeared in a new trailer on Thursday detailing a two-night documentary event premiering on Lifetime later this month, though the video was removed just moments after its release. In the since-deleted clip, the star was filmed as her health steadily declined in recent years. The mother of one broke down in tears as she struggled with both mental and physical illness in the light of the end of her daytime talk show series. Wendy says, in the, it says to the cameras, since I was six years old, all I wanted was to be famous. As footage ran showing the radio host at the peak of her career. The New York native has been smiling and laughing as she's greeted by hundreds of fans looking healthy and happy. The documentary included shots of the broadcaster on stage of the Wendy Williams talk show uh, with an adoring audience and even receiving her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The video then took a turn showing Wendy in her current state for the first time in an over a year. The TV star sat in front of cameras to discuss where she's been and the drama she has encountered in her personal life. The documentary teased exclusive quotes from the daytime talk show host's son, Kevin Hunter Jr., who claimed that his mom has, quote, done a really good job at making it seem like everything's okay. He confessed, but in reality, there's something wrong going on. Footage from the documentary showed Wendy in the backseat of a black vehicle, her face looking more gaunt than ever before. A producer asked, have you seen a, neur a neurologist? To which the star replied, to see if I'm crazy? Mm-hmm. Various clips showed the former radio host struggling while on set, needing assistance to even stand on her own. One of Wendy's male family members spoke up saying she was put in front of a judge and given a guardian. Back in a confessional, the TV personality sent fans a message of warning. I have no money, she revealed. And let me tell you something. If it happens to me, it can happen to you. As you know, we followed the Wells Fargo saga in Wendy Williams' life which now includes a financial guardian that oversees her money. So when Wendy says that she has no money, what she's saying is that she doesn't have free access to the millions of dollars that she's earned over the years. The Sun continues, they say that Wendy then broke down in tears on camera, clutching a pillow tight to her chest. In another triggering scene, one of the host's male family members asked if she drank an entire bottle of vodka today. The BET star snapped at the man to keep the bottle there, despite a frail condition while lying in bed. The radio host's son asserted that he believes that his mom has worked enough in her career through, though she intended to return to TV. At one point in the trailer, Wendy admitted she didn't know where she was, although she was driving around in Manhattan, her home, for years. The TV star's family claimed she seemed to be, quote, losing her memory. In a conversation with her niece, Alex Finney, she told the host that there have been random people around to which Wendy added stealing money from me. The Troubles, the Troubles Stars two-part documentary arrives on Lifetime February 24th and 25th. I want to remind you of something because we also covered Kevin Hunter Jr.'s interview with The Sun a while ago. And he admitted to being a part of this filming process because we had seen cameras following Wendy sometime early last year. So we, I'm not completely surprised that this trailer has been released. I'm not sure how old some of this footage is because a lot of people are wondering, is this in recent months? Well, we know it is definitely within recent years. 
So back in this interview, Kevin Hunter, in regards to this Wendy unscripted project, The Sun wrote this. At the end of 2022, Kevin claimed that Will Selby, her then manager, a.k.a. jeweler, asked him if he wanted to be a part of the unscripted project Wendy had been spotted filming in recent months. The jeweler reached out to me last year and he basically said, we are planning on this project being a way that would be that would tell the public about what's happening. And according to Kevin, I was opposed to it. I felt like I and I still feel like she shouldn't be doing anything that involves putting herself in front of the camera. It goes back to putting work. It goes back to putting work first and herself second. I was then reapproached by production, not by Will directly, a second time, and I just said no. The 22-year-old college student has always been supported financially by his mother and in large part lost that support when her financial affairs were taken over by a guardian, Sabrina Morisi, in May of 2022. Turning down Will's offer to be a part of the unscripted project about his mother meant he was saying, saying no to a lucrative opportunity that could have been a financial life raft for him, he explained. They tried to offer me $25,000 to appear in the unscripted project with executive producer credit. And I chose not to do it for the simple fact that I just felt like however this came about was under a contract she shouldn't have agreed to for a project that wouldn't paint her in a good light. When asked for comment on the various allegations against him, Will Selby said, no comment because half of this stuff isn't even true. Majority of this is false. When asked for further clarification, Will insisted he saw Kev and spoke to him in April in Miami. Will claimed, I was in Miami with Kev. I forced him to have a conversation because he seemed a little disgruntled. I spoke to him face to face 1000%. I was like, if there's a problem, let's talk. If there's an issue, let's have a conversation. When pushed in yet another request for comment to expand on any additional points, Will responded, there is, there is so much that is inaccurate, it's really not worth me commenting. Yet, a couple of months ago, not even a couple of months ago, we reported to you that Will Selby did an interview with Angela Yee and was talking about how, how Wendy was trying to make Big Kev, Kevin, Kelvin Hunter, jealous by flirting with him. You're speaking to the world, though, bro. Yeah, why, why was you in the tabloids? Well, I think it was something pertaining to Wendy. Wendy Ooh, Williams. Who? Wendy Williams, I'm oh, sorry. Wendy Williams. Williams. Um, I don't think anything happened to her. I just think people just had an opinion because what? Wendy's such a strong figure. What they had to do with you, though, my boy? I manage Wendy Williams. Oh, you manage Okay, her. so manage you still her. manage her now. I still manage her now. Okay. Yes. Oh. And, and we're friends. I manage her. Mm -hmm. I do jewelry for her. Oh, we just okay. we're connected in so many different ways. Mm. So, um, you know, I just, I just feel like everyone had an opinion about Wendy. And, you know, I had something to say about it. Mm -hmm. But I realized I can't always respond oh, to can't. everything that I see. Because you're not used to being in that position no, not where people all. are coming for you. Coming and... for me. So the minute they came for me, I figured I'm going to let them know I'm mm -hmm. not the person to come for. But I realized it's just a better way to deal with things. And so it's just sometimes better to just be quiet. Is, this is just a business relationship. Yes, that's only a business relationship. Mm -hmm. Initially, I just tell you the truth since we're on way up. Wendy wanted to make her ex-husband jealous. Okay. Uh -huh. So she was flirting with me a little bit. Yeah, both from Brooklyn. Yes. Would, okay. Yes. And he's a great guy. He had a lot to endure. Mm -hmm. Just dealing with Wendy hands-on, I know it's a lot. Okay. So I know he had to go through a lot. Mm -hmm. So I have nothing but the utmost respect for him. But, um, you know, she wanted to make him jealous, so she was bothering me. And she was, you know, taking a couple of close photos. And everything got leaked. And they made... They Did you go to make all the way, close. Oh, well, what way? Like, no, not at all. Did you go? No, Ooh. I didn't go anywhere. I ain't passed go, no, no Monopoly. No, I ain't going nowhere. No, he can ask. My dog, my dog. Yeah. I don't mind him asking. Okay. I did, did nothing. I didn't even give her an extended hug. Okay. We're friends. We do business. I feel like I saw an extended hug. No, nah, it wasn't extended. <laughs> okay. It just looked that way, yeah. It was, it was like two seconds. It wasn't. But but it was. it's just business. Mm -hmm. There's nothing outside of that. Okay. We're friends. We care about each other. I got nothing but love for How her. How did you end up? So you started off as a jeweler and then she asked you to manage her? Well, I, I think same thing like the jewelry. Mm -hmm. We were having a lot of conversations and I was just like, well, Wendy, you should be doing this, you know, or maybe you should be doing that. Why isn't this happening? And I guess in just the conversations that we had, she felt like I could be an asset okay. to her business. And so you still manage her now. So how is she doing? Wendy is resting right now. Okay. Wendy, Wendy needs a break, in my opinion. I feel like she's been working straight for like 14, 15 years. Right. And, you know, it's time for her to sit her ass down for a minute. You know, I think people love Wendy so much, and that's yes. why people felt very protective at a time. So that's, yeah. Nothing took place. We have a business. 
friendship, relationship, and that's nice. it. Okay. That was her manager. The U.S. Sun reached out to Wendy's publicist, Sean Zanotti, multiple times, and she declined comment at the time. So as you also know, Wendy is under this financial guardianship. The, the Sun reminds us that Kevin also takes issue with Wendy's guardian, Sabrina Morisi. All right. So Wendy was placed under a guardianship after Wells Fargo froze her bank accounts as they suspected the star was the victim of, quote, financial exploitation, dementia or undue influence, according to court papers first revealed by the U.S. Sun. It's been really sad what's been allowed to happen. And ever since the court hearings ended, something just has to be brought to light about what's going on and how much people are taking in this situation. In terms of who is there now, people have put other things in front of her actually healing and getting better. And unfortunately, unlike many other alcoholics, she's worth a lot more money, Kevin said in this interview. Wendy's son continued, I know that Sabrina has a relationship with the jeweler. So Sabrina, the financial guardian, has a relationship with Will Selby, Wendy Williams, then manager. And he continues, he says, and I would assume, though, that they are cool with each other. This is how this was created. And it seems like it's more about making sure he is OK. I don't know what the ultimate goal is for Sabrina as the person in charge of stuff, but there have never been articles put out saying Wendy isn't OK. Wendy's son hit out at the Guardian's handling of Wendy and her lack of communication with the star's family. I don't feel like Sabrina has done a great job at all. I think that based on her action, I'd have to assume something is something is going on that she's not telling me. Whether it be she's receiving income on the side or what, but there's a lot of her pushing away of myself and everybody down here in Florida and saying that she's not going she's not giving updates. She's really vague with updates. Sabrina Marisi did not respond to the US Sun's request for comment. So as I mentioned to, to you before, this is what Kel Kelvin told the U.S. Sun back, back in June of last year. And this is what he says that he, his hopes for, for his mother. Ultimately, Kevin insists that his mother absolutely should not have been, been working. She should not continue to work and she should be focusing on her health and recovery. He says, I think that it's best for her to have prioritized her health first. Nobody around her will tell her this, but she doesn't have to be working. She needs to take a break from trying to progress her career and just be proud of what she's accomplished. When asked if he had a plan in all of this, Wendy's son says, the plan is that I'm hoping and praying that people who are up there in New York with her right now don't lead her down the path to where something can't happen to help her. If there was a way or if there was a plan I could think of, I wouldn't be here doing this interview. I would be doing something that I could do. Kevin added that he thinks something has gone seriously wrong with the way things have been set up for Wendy. He says, in terms of what is and what isn't, when she was with me, none of the articles of her not looking well ever came out. When she got dragged back up there to New York City after the court hearings, that started happening. And from that perspective, something had gone wrong. So when we reported to you about the most recent news that Miss Jones said that she went to, to Wendy's home, I said to you, I say, well, this explains why we haven't heard anything from Wendy at this time. It makes sense that she is with her family, that she's with her son, Kevin, in Florida. That's why we haven't seen her. That's why we haven't seen her, you know, in, in the state that we had seen her when she was up here in New York City with her team. So watching this documentary trailer, which has now since been deleted, I have to say, what Wendy Williams would say on her daytime talk show, oh, this is appointment television. We're going to watch it. We're going to see. But I'm not going to act as if that this trailer did not hurt my heart to watch. Because no matter how Wendy Williams has covered the stories, whatever way, whatever feeling you have about her, I feel like a lot of people have a lot of love for Wendy. She has gotten people through a lot of hard times over the years and have truly been entertained by the icon that is Wendy Williams. And I think we truly appreciate her now more than ever. And my hope for her that this is just the beginning of better times. I've said this countless times. I don't need Wendy Williams to come back to television or radio if that doesn't mean Wendy Williams is OK mentally and physically. It would be amazing because she has offered us so much entertainment over the years. But 
the same amount of grace that I think a lot of people had hoped Wendy would have given to some of the celebrities that she's covered over the years, I see a lot of people, celebrities and the world, giving to her and wishing her nothing but the best. So as I mentioned before, Lifetime apparently will be releasing this two-part documentary called Where is Wendy Williams on February 24th and 25th. Will you be watching? Guys, let's continue this conversation in the comments section. As always, be sure to like this video. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast, Kempire, on Apple Podcasts and on Spotify. Thank you so much for watching and for listening. Everything is going to be good. I know. I love being famous. But family is everything. So good to see you again, Dad. It's good to see you, baby. Everything.